Knitters, welcome back to Rena Nets. How about a knitting project for this weekend? It can be short or long, depending on the size that you choose. And it'd be great to learn new patterns and to have your kids involved so that they could get more comfortable with knitting. It's like blankets. How about dishcloths? They need they don't need to be so big. They could be small squares. You could do a 4x4, a 5x5, a 6x6, an 8x8, or even a 10x10. Depending on the size that you choose, it could take you the whole weekend or even just an afternoon to do something with your family, with your kids, and have some us time and a relaxing time. The material you would need to make a dishcloth are yarn. I'm using a yarn of weight 4. I usually prefer to use the Red Heart yarn. Scissors. Place markers. So you can use place markers. I usually use these. But place markers. But now I'm going to be using needle of US size 2. So my needles is 2.75 millimeters or US size 2. Now I'm using thinner needles because what I want is my knitting to be tighter. I want it to look smaller and more close knit rather than more open look because of the dishcloth and the purpose I'm using I want it to make it look a little tighter and cleaner in that way. You would also need a measuring tape. Once you've cast on the 63 stitches, what you're going to do for the next four rows is a rib design of one to one. So basically one knit, one purl, one knit, one purl, all the way across. And then one purl, one knit would be row two. And you would do this for four rows. So up to row four, you would continue with this pattern. So in my case here, I have knit, purl, knit, purl. So my right side, I'm starting off with knit purl. Once you've done row one, row two would be just purl, knit, purl, knit. And you would do this for the four rows. So once you've done your four rows of seed stitch, you're now going to work uh, work on the checkered pattern. So for the design for the checkered pattern, what you're going to do is keep these three stitches on either end in going using the same check um, seed stitch. So three stitches on either end are going to be seed stitch. Then the middle 57 stitches are going to use the checkered pattern. So for row one. For row five, we're going to have purl, knit, and purl. Now, to make it easier, even you could put a place marker right here so you know this is where the seed stitch starts. And then you're going to do is three stitches, you're going to use P. You're going to do pearls. So one, two, three. And the next six stitches, you're going to do a knit. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to repeat this again. Three, so it's a pattern of nine per row. Two, three, and then next six are knits.
and then again. So you're going to keep repeating the, these nine stitches the same way all the way through until you get the three stitches. And then you're going to do those at seat, as a seat stitch, the seat pattern. So here's my six. Two, three, and then you're going to do your seat stitch. So that's one purl, one knit, and one purl. The back is just the opposite to maintain that pattern. So the checkered pattern is four rows of the same design, and then you're going to reverse it. So for the next four rows, you're going to keep this where it's Th now it's going to be three knits and six pearls, three knits to maintain the pattern for the four rows. So you're going to repeat, so row two, the first three is the seat pattern. So one knit, pearl, knit. Then you're going to maintain the way these are. So this shows that it's knit, so you're going to knit three. One, two, three, and you're going to purl six. And you're going to finish this row the same way, repeating this pattern. And you're going to do this for another two rows. So you get a four by four square. And that's going to be your check, uh, one of your checkers. That's going to be your check, uh, check, uh, pattern. So after you've done the first four rows, on the right side it would be three pearls and six knits. Three pearls, six knits all the way through. And then on the wrong side it'd be just the opposite. Three knits, six pearls all the way through. So after you've done four rows of the same pattern. You're now going to switch it around for the next six rows. Now for the next six rows what you're going to do is you're going to do three pearls and three knits and six pearls. Three knits and six pearls all the way through. On the right side from row five to row eight we did three pearls six knits. From row 9 to row 14, what we're going to do is 3 knits, 6 pearls on the right side. Just the opposite of what we had done for the first 4 rows. The first 4 rows we did 3, knit, three pearls, 6 knits. For the, for the next 6 rows, we're going to do 3 knits and 6 pearls. So from row 5 to row 8, it was three pearls, six knits. From row eight to row 14, we're going to do three knits and six pearls. Just the opposite. This is the right side. So the wrong side would be just the opposite of the right side. And you're going to continue for six rows. And then you're going to repeat the same 10 stitch, 10 row pattern until you get the desired length of your dishcloth. The dishcloth that I'm making is a size of, of 10 inches, so it's going to be a 10 by 10 square that I'm going to be making for this particular project. But you could make sizes that are smaller, an 8 by 8, a 6 by 6, or 4 by 4. That would just require a different number of stitches that you could measure up. So an 8x8 eight eight would basically require, so I had cast on 63, for an 8x8 eight eight you might require just 43, and then for six, a 6x6 six six you would require a lot less, and then a 4x4 four four even fewer stitches. So you would just t determine that by measuring once you've cast on those num a certain number of stitches to see where you stand when you do a 4x4, four four, a 6x6, six six, an 8x8, eight eight, and so forth. And then as you're knitting on with this, you would do the same thing. You would measure from end to end to see where you are. 
on your project. So this is a reminder that the first three rows and the last three rows, you're keeping the rib design. And the remaining portion, you're doing the actual checkered design. As you can see here, the design is coming along. So this is my four that I began with. This row is my four row for the, for the pattern. This is my six rows. So again, I've done the four rows and now I'm going to start with the six rows. So you will continue doing this and this is how the pattern will look until you get to the desired length. So which would be the same length as your width because we're making square dish cloths. Now you could also notice that using a finer needle, using a thinner needle, the stitches seem a lot tighter and a lot smaller. So then it looks, uh, it looks a little more detailed and uh, I guess a little more elegant, you can say, compared to if you were using uh, thicker needles because then uh, the stitches would be a lot bigger and wider so you'd be able to see them a little more clearly I guess you could say. So that's one of the differences between using the thinner needles, the skinnier needles compared to the bigger needles. So using the smaller needle sizes compared to the bigger needle sizes as well. Once you have completed your square dishcloth, what you want to do is finish off. So about half an inch is what you will need to complete your border. So what you're going to now do after you've done your last checkered pattern is start knitting the seed stitch or the rib stitch for an extra four rows and that will complete your square. So by this point you should be at about nine and a half inches. So if we measure this, I'm at about nine and a half inches. So for another half inch, what I'm going to do is do my border again, my rib border that I had at the very beginning. So that way I finish off the border and then the square for my dishcloth. What you're going to do is you could now take off your place markers as well, but you will continue with your rib. So one pearl, one knit for me, one pearl, and then I'm going to remove my place marker and then do one knit, one pearl. And I will continue this till the end of the row. And I'm going to do three more of these to finish off my four row rib pattern. And then I will bind off my stitches. Once you've completed the border, what you're going to now do is bind off. So here I've started binding off. So what I'm doing is basically knit one, knit one, and then slip one over the other. Knit, slip over. And you would kind of finish this, finish the bind off this way for the wool row. The last stitch, what I do is I cut off, a, I want to cut off a little bit. So there's a slight tail that I'm going to keep. I'm going to take my scissors and cut off a little bit. And that's it. And there you have yourself a dishcloth. If you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. And if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to get the latest videos on knitting projects, knitting ideas, knitting patterns, and much more. Relax, enjoy, and keep knitting.